Do I'm just like a ride along in this, but like watching your reaction is great. I'm getting it. You're not at all. Sorry. I'm just like, no idea what to talk about. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is your couple from the Midwest. We're not their couple. We're just a couple. Yeah, we're a couple. From, we're an American couple from the Midwest. Today's video is going to be one recommended to us by all of you. Uh, on the Discord that we have, the channel's Discord, a great place to do suggestions. Mm -hmm. It is called Not the Nine O'clock News. Mighty Monty Python <laughs> Worshippers. I said that wrong. Screwed up already. I will say that this will actually be more of a reaction for me, even myself, because <laughs> I still have not gotten around to Mo Monty Python stuff, and she has. So this will probably all just it's go been a while, though. over my head. I'm curious if I've seen this. So far, it's not ringing a bell or a clock tower. So clock. Uh, I get to react in real life with her. <laughs> Um, <laughs> real life. No, this is all fake. Well, I mean, like, I get to watch your reaction because I'm not going to get oh. probably any of this. <laughs> One thing I am excited about, though, is I saw that Rowan Atkinson again is in this. Oh. And we recently just did some Black Adder. So, a little bit more of him. Now, what I'm understanding, reading, judging by the description, it had something to do with mocking. No, it, uh, so the description on the video, it says, a sketch from the British series, not the 9 o'clock news, commenting on the controversy created by Monty Python's film, Life of Brian. Okay, so I don't know if this actually has Monty Python actors in it. I don't think so. Okay. This is not the 9 o'clock news. Okay. I will get it because I've seen Life of Brian. Anyway, guys, let's get right into this. Check this out and see what she thinks. <laughs> well, that was an excerpt from the controversial and some would say scurrilous new British picture, the General Synod's Life of Christ. <laughs> the film deals with the rise to fame and greatness of a humble carpenter's son named Jesus Christ. But many people have seen in the film a thinly disguised and blasphemous attack on the life of Monty Python. <laughs> Python worshippers claim the film sets out to ridicule by parody the actual members of Monty Python. Well, I, I don't get it. Okay, so Life of Brian is basically a parody of the, the life, life of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. So she's saying they did a thing on Jesus Christ, and there that was the parody of Life of Brian, so it's reversed. Uh -huh. That's what she's saying, I think. And that's why it's funny. <laughs> Sets out to ridicule by parody the actual members of Monty Python. <laughs> Men who even today are worshipped and revered throughout the Western world. <laughs> Now, Alexander Walker, what did you think of the picture? <clears throat> well, I, I was appalled. I mean, I actually find it deeply offensive that in a country that is still ostensibly a python-worshipping country, <laughs> okay, yeah. a 14-year-old child can actually get in to see this film. I mean, there is, there is little enough proper python around these days without parading this distorted garbage about. Bishop, you directed the film. Uh, did you expect this kind of reaction? Oh, no. <laughs> well... Well, I certainly didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Spanish Inquisition is another skit that Monty Python does where they just burst in. It's like, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, and I'll have to show you some facts that I get it. So. Okay, like, I, like I said, I'm more of just a writer. I'm just ride explaining along. every joke to I'm you. just like a ride along in this, but like watching your reaction is great. Uh, enjoying it immensely. <laughs> I'm getting it. You're not at all. So I'm just like, <laughs> no idea what the time out. Well, I certainly didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> 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 yes. yes, I did. Yes, I did direct the film. And I feel as though I must emphasize at this stage that it is not about Python. Oh, come on. I'm not a Pythonist. <laughs> I'm not a Pythonist myself. But obviously, I have a tremendous amount of respect for people like Alexander, who are... Oh, come now. I, now. Come now, Bishop. I mean, the leading figure in this film, what is it? Uh, uh, Je Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I mean, he's quite clear, <laughs> quite clearly a lampoon of the comic messiah himself. <laughs> Our Lord John Cleese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even the initials, no, JC, no, no, are exactly the same. No, no, no. I must explain. I feel it. I, I must explain to you. The Christ figure is not clean. Oh, come on. No, he's just an ordinary man who happens to have been born in Western Supermare at the same time as Mr. Clean. Jonathan, you no, know no, as well no, as I he do. Is mistaken. The point he is mistaken for the comic messiah I'm himself sorry. by vast crap. 
Oh, comic messiah, so like the coming messiah? Ah, okay. I'm, I'm assuming that's what the joke is. I don't know. Maybe I don't, but... As well yeah, as I, I do. He is, mistaken. The point... he is mistaken for the comic messiah I'm himself sorry. by vast crowds of people who follow him about, doing silly walks, um, under uh, shouting, your shouting, no, no, not the comfy chair, and other <laughs> slogans from the good box. No, I'm... S and <laughs> I'm sorry, John I'm sorry, Jonathan, whatever you say, this film is a highly distasteful one. I mean, have people forgotten how Monty Python suffered for us? I know. How often the sketches failed? I mean, these men died for us. Frequently. I mean, if Python is immortal, as Pythonists believe, then I'm, I can't believe that a mere film, a tenth rate, film. could put them off. I mean, in the, words, in the words of John Cleese, whenever two or three are gathered together in one place, then they shall perform the parrot sketch. It is an ex... <laughs> it is an ex-parrot. It, it has ceased to be. <laughs> what is this? That's, guys That's from the dead parrot sketch. Oh. Which I haven't seen in a long time, so, but I can remember little bits of it. It is an ex-parrot. It, it has ceased to be. Indeed. Well, Alexander Walker, the final scene of the picture has attracted the most attention. Right, well, I mean, this... I mean, now, now, here, I think we have the ultimate blasphemy. I mean, it is, it is set in a hotel in Torquay, where literally hundreds of Spanish waiters are being clipped about the ear by this Jesus Christ bloke. Um, it, it, it is obviously a lampoon of the... Comic Messiah's greatest half it's hour. It's not at all. The point, it's uh, Torbay. Well, thank you both oh, very come on, much Torbay, indeed. Torquay, uh, I mean, Bishop, uh, Alexander Walker, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> so I like, this is like classic British humor where they put it in like a serious setting, like they're trying to do something, but then all the dialogue is about something so... Just, I just love how they're trying to be so serious, like this is a serious talk show and we're having a serious debate and discussion, but what they're talking about is both fictional on both sides, it's just made up movies, other than Life of Brian was real, but still. It's just, Wait, what? Oh, it's a real movie? Yes, except I don't remember John Cleese playing the role, the main role in Life of Brian. I think it was the one of the other actors. So I'm not sure I got the reference there, because he wasn't the Christ figure in Life of Brian. Not sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Brian was Graham Chapman. Which I think he played the main guy in. John Cleese played the high priest. So yeah, uh, John Cleese did not play the main Christ figure in Life of Brian, but he played multiple characters throughout, I think, or at least one main one. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the movie, at least a decade. Well, uh, I know you've seen uh, my Pi the Holy Grail lots and lots of yes, times. Yes, yes. So <laughs> that one I could quote more. But no, I got most of the jokes, I think. I feel like I've qualified myself as a... <laughs> Oh yeah, if it had been me uh, watching it, I would have just been like blank face <laughs> the whole time. But you like actually got it somewhat, at least so. <laughs> Almost every joke. I like did. I said, I was just like a ride along. Just like, <laughs> oh yeah, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was my But you gotta admit, the whole... Contribution. <laughs> the whole like um, stage that they put forth is like this talk show debating over something that was... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, def I definitely like how they... And the one woman is like super serious asking question to question. No, I, I like the idea of it, and yeah. I think the 9 o'clock news kind of does that. I think it's like ah. its own show, I'm not for sure. Kind of like I said, show. this was just a clip someone sent us uh, through Discord, but I have seen other people recommend it. I think it's just... Well, we could just look it up, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just like a, it's like a... It's supposed to be a serious show, but they kind of like make fun of stuff. Uh-huh, yeah. Which obviously like, kind of was the setting. I didn't get the jungle. Thing so I don't know if that's part of my Python or yeah I don't I don't know what that was part of <laughs> I think well, that must have been <laughs> part of the backstory of that more of that episode or something well, anyway. I did catch I think they do those in front of a live audience or at least partially because it did look like Ron Atkinson was about to break a few times when he first started talking oh you I don't see know. the smile on his face like he's trying to get into character which is always. I actually like it when you can catch that on actors with those live performances. Well, uh, I will leave it to you. What did you think? Did you like it? I liked it. I'd watch more. All right. It, it was it was clever. I wish I was a little more up to date on my Monty Python because I haven't watched them in a while. I'm just like being reintroduced to a lot of it. My take was I I probably would enjoy it a lot more if I understood the references. <laughs> like um, if I wasn't here, I don't think you would get into oh, that. Oh no 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 no. I like the kind of making fun of it. Yeah. I like that setting, but, but in the I reverse I don't, way. I, I didn't get it. So <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, definitely give a like for her uh, My knowing, best knowing the, uh, references and actually appreciating it. <laughs> uh, with that being said, guys. Um, give him a like just for pity. <laughs> a pity like. 
Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let us know down in the comments below if we should do more 9 o'clock news. And send us your favorite clips. Send us your favorite clips through Instagram or this Discord. this is new to us and we don't know about it. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Please be safe. Take care. Look after one another. And stay warm. Cheers.